Hello everyone, it's Dr. James St. Clair for Top Dog Rehabilitation and in this video I just want to review the concept of sit to stand exercises. We also call them puppy squats. Sit to stand exercises are an incredibly powerful exercise that eventually you will master um, and can be equally as beneficial as just the slow controlled leash walking like we discussed in the last video. The reason why it's such a great exercise is that when a dog goes to sit and then get up, just as you and I sit and get up, we're activating all of our major muscle groups in our hind legs, our quadriceps, our hamstrings, our gluteal muscles, um, and our gastrocnemius muscle. In addition, okay, we are also uh, putting our hip, our knee, in our hock or in us, our ankle, through all of uh, the, the natural range of motion. So that is fantastic and why it is such a great exercise. At the end of the day, you're gonna start with doing this just a few times, okay? And probably your dog is gonna have horrific form. Eventually, as your dog improves, as weeks go on, um, and they get more and more comfortable on that leg, then you're going to be doing this more frequently and with greater repetition. So, what I'm gonna to attempt to do is show you a couple of the key points with Marty and then maybe some of the tricks of the trade, all right? It's important that when a dog sits, Marty, sit. Marty, sit. Now, right here, Marty is sitting extremely lazy. And a lot of times, this is a dog that has had uh, cruciate surgery, whether it's a TPLO, TTA, or, or an extra capsular repair, will sit like this. That your dog will attempt to go down and then will kind of fall off to the side. I'm gonna use my Life's a Dog treats here because Marty goes wild for them. The great thing about these treats, again, is that I can break these into tiny little pieces so I'm not pumping calories into Marty. And they're 100% chicken or 95% chicken. Okay, so, Marty, come here. Marty, sit. Now, Marty sat improperly again. So, come on, sit. Okay, stay. That is a perfect square sit for Marty. He's got equal pressure on his right leg, equal pressure on his left leg. And I want to reward him. When you're doing this, we want to get your dog to sit, and then we're going to give them a second, and then we're going to ask them to get up. Come here, Marty. Sit. Now, if, if Marty had had surgery and was sitting improperly, um, as he is doing now or had previously done in the video, what we may want to do is do half squats or half puppy squats. And the goal of that is we don't want to give Marty, the, uh, allow him to have the time to sit down and then adjust and fall off to the side. So what we would want to do is have Marty start to sit down and then get him up quickly and then uh, proceed, ask him to sit again, have him sit down slowly and then get him up quickly. So we're going to see if we can do that with him. Okay, come on. Okay. Come here. Sit. Come here. Sit. Come here. Sit. All right. Good job. Now, one other point to remember is that we want to do this on a, uh, a very good texture flooring. So rug or uh, rubber mats, or even going outside is a great way to do it. You don't really want to do this on a tile floor or a wood floor, because we want to allow him uh, the traction he needs to get up. So that's just a quick review on the sit to stand exercises or puppy squats, and Marty and I hope you have a great day.